Right now I'm in San Diego for a shoot that's coming up tomorrow, but I wanted to talk a little bit about preparing for the worst and always being prepared because I don't know if this made the news where you're at, but Phoenix Sky Harbor, the airport that we flew out of to get here, had an issue with their luggage scanner. The TSA automation scanner that scans all the luggage that gets checked was completely out of commission. And so they couldn't check any of the bags and they had to use some other methods like bringing in dogs and I don't know what else they were all doing, but it caused a huge backup of the baggage. And so what happened was all of these people were making their flights, going to their destinations, but their bags weren't making it. They were stuck in Phoenix. It got to the point where there were so many bags building up at the airport, they had to take the bags out to the parking lot and just left them roasting in the Arizona sun in the parking lot. I'm sure a lot of people were not happy about that. And this is the day that we flew out of Phoenix to come to San Diego. Now, thankfully, nothing happened with our bags. So our luggage and all of the gear, our lights, our stands, all of it made it no problem. But a lot of other people, even on our flight, didn't get their bags. When we landed, there were people like looking around, where's my bags, where's my luggage, what happened? I don't know how we got so lucky and it worked out, but it's just another reminder that you always need to be prepared and have a backup plan. So that's part of the reason that when we go and do shoots, we usually, almost nine times out of 10, we fly in the day before just to make sure that there aren't any last minute weird hiccups. You know, flights inevitably usually get delayed and it might only be a 15 minute delay, but it sometimes can be a four hour delay. And in those cases, you definitely don't wanna be worried about making it to your shoot on time. You wanna have the time before. The, usually the day before is sufficient enough because you don't need to like fly in the week before. That's probably a little bit overkill. But flying in the day before is really helpful. It just makes you, everyone feel more comfortable that when problems do come up, because they will, that there's not this rush and this urgency to solve the problem because otherwise it's all gonna come tumbling down. You know, If you're late to a shoot, that might mean the shoot doesn't happen and that would be terrible. You wouldn't want that to happen. Same thing for leaving. You know, you gotta look and make sure that you have ample time to wrap your shoot up, pack up your stuff and make it to the airport with sufficient time because the last thing you want is to stop a shoot midway just because you have to catch a flight. You know, the client's not gonna be happy about that. You're not gonna be happy about it. You're not gonna get the footage you need or the photos you need, whatever it might be. And it's just, it's just a mess. So even coming back, you might wanna come back a day later. Sometimes it's, you know, it's more cost uh, beneficial to come back that night. So once the shoot's wrapped, usually there's time to catch a flight, but sometimes there's not. So you gotta come back the next day. Um, so just always have those kind of safety nets around you when you're doing any kind of production because there will be problems, guaranteed. And sometimes there's not. And, and that's a great feeling when everything goes smoothly and there's no issues, but 50% of the time, at least 50% of the time, you know, what can go wrong will go wrong. And that happens time and time again. And you really have to be thinking about, okay, what are all the things that could go wrong and how can I be prepared? So giving yourself that safety net of a day or some hours, you know, that's a window of just, this is, you know, transportation time or whatever, that's really good. But also having a backup plan, knowing like, okay, if, if my bags get lost or if my bags don't make it, can I still do the shoot? And the way that I travel and the way that we normally travel is like the lights and the stands and the big, heavy, bulky stuff that we can't carry on gets checked. But cameras, audio, microphones, lenses, batteries, everything that's kind of the main core components, we carry on. Cameras, thankfully now, technology's gotten to the point where they're small enough that they can be carried on. And a lot of this stuff is compact enough that we, you know, split it up between a few bags as carry-ons and we're fine. So if some gear was to be lost in transit or didn't make the flight for whatever reason, we could still shoot with natural light or we could rent stuff locally, but we wouldn't be out of all of, all of our gear if we had checked everything. So I definitely wouldn't recommend checking cameras. I wouldn't recommend checking audio stuff because you really, lighting is really important. I don't want to discredit lighting, but there's usually lights in the in the space that you can make work, whether it's the sun coming through a window or it's the practical lights just in the room, whatever it might be, you can usually make it work, but you can't just magically whip a camera out of thin air unless you're gonna start filming on your smartphone and you probably don't wanna do that. Same thing for audio. I, they probably don't have microphones just laying around at the place you're going, but you can always look up, you know, rental shops in the area that you're going to to be prepared of like, if 
if something goes wrong, if my gear breaks, am I going to be able to get a rental if, if I need to? And being prepared for that kind of stuff. There's so many different things that can go wrong. You know, people getting sick, you know, are you going to have enough people? There's so much stuff to plan and every shoot is different. So you can't, there's not really like a checklist like, oh, make sure you have these things. But it's just that mindset of being prepared because as we saw today, you know, outside of my control and our control, TSA, their scanners went down and all these bags got left behind in Phoenix. And that could have very well been us. And if that had been us, it would have been really tough. The shoot would have been a lot more challenging, but I, I'm confident we would have still been able to make it work because that's the kind of planning we do. We, we look ahead, we anticipate, we make sure, okay, well, we've got our cameras, we've got our audio, we don't have stands, and maybe we don't have tripods. How are we gonna make that, how are we gonna make that work? Well, it might, maybe you have to set a camera on a table, or you, know, you, you, you make do with what you have, but always being prepared and, and planning ahead, it, the more you do that, the better off you're gonna be. That way, when these problems come up, because they do, I can't stress that enough, Problems will come up and you have to be ready to handle them. So whether it's TSA messing everything up for you or it's just an unfortunate set of circumstances, be prepared. Just be prepared. It's going to make you better off in the long run.